which leads us to our final skiing world champion for the United States ski team, Mr. Patrick Deneen. I'm a ski team member and hard athlete, Patrick Deneen, and today we're going to be talking about hands. I thought I'd start out the video with a clip from one of my World Cup competition runs. In the competition mobile runs, as well as in general mobile skiing, quiet hands are necessary. In the bumps, you're going to have some movement of the hands, but you want to eliminate as much of it as possible. Hands can either be a symptom or a cause of a problem that you find yourself having in the bumps or in skiing in general. When it comes to skiing, I think I've worked on my hands more than any other specific body part. The following are some flat training runs where I'm focused on my hands. I want my hands out in front of me with my elbows slightly away from my upper body and my knuckles facing forward. I work on having a light grip on my pole and a light touch on the snow with my pole plant. Now that all sounds easy, but in reality it takes time and repetition to get it right. I work my hands in the flats as well as in the bumps. In slow motion you'll see that my left hand moves slightly forward and down for the pole plant. This motion starts to turn causing the pole to touch the snow. As soon as the skis cross the fall line, the opposite hand moves forward and down again, causing the pole plant to touch the snow and the turn starts all over again. As you can see, the pole plant moves forward and down the hill, initiating the turn. After the pole plant happens, then the knees roll and the skis change direction. On the flats, I want the pole plant to be quick and between the front of the bindings and the tip of the ski. The further forward, the better. Watch this short clip of the center section of one of my friends and focus on the hands. There is more movement here, but the hands always stay forward with the knuckles facing down the hill. Now here is the same clip in slow motion that shows my hands forward, which allows me to plant my poles on the downhill side of the bump and provides for timing and initiation of the turn. And now one more clip of a side-by-side -side that shows a flat training run and a comp run which shows how I use the flats to train my hands and how the motion crosses over to the bumps. And one last thing, hands are important. So if you're having to wave your hands around or they're getting caught behind you, it shows you're having issues somewhere in your skiing. So start on the flats, work your hands, and then move into the moguls. Thanks for watching this heart bump tip video.